Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. When I was 17 years old, I got myself into thousands of pounds of debt. How did I get myself into this debt? It was parking fines. I've never borrowed money as a loan ever in my life. But my car got scanned, and I received lots of letters to my home of thousands of pounds of parking fines, which some of them turned into five counter court judgments, AKA CCJs. I never paid these off, not at the start. In fact, I wasn't even living at home at the start. I haven't lived at home since. When I was 17 years old, I was made homeless. And since that day, I've been working my butt off to look after my credit score. Over the last two years, I have primarily been focusing using Bits, Credit Ladder, Money Supermarket, ClearScore, and Experian. I even recently got an Experian Boost. I have three kind of credit cards. I have two proper credit cards, which are a Capital One card and an Ocean Finance card, which of course, they are both the same company. And then I have an Argos card. My Argos card has a limit of 480 pounds, and my credit cards have a limit separately of 200 pounds each. Well, that was until the other day. You see, I've been working on my credit score monumentally the last two years. And less than 48 hours ago, I got a notification on the app my credit score had been increased. I accepted it, but what did it increase by? My Capital One card had a massive credit increase. It could have been increased by one or 200 pounds, so I could have a limit of 400 pounds, maybe even 500 pounds on my card, but no, I didn't get that increase. My card wasn't even increased to 1,000 pounds. In fact, my credit limit now is 1,200 pounds. Now to the naked eye, that might not be a lot, but to someone who's got five CCJs and has been paying thousands off in old parking fines, that means a lot to me. I've been working, spending the correct amount of money, never missing a payment on a credit card, using the store card wisely, and I've been using the correct apps, such as Credit Ladder, where I've been able to put my rent on. This isn't sponsored, this is me just telling you the truth. I was initially using Bits for a time, but I ended up standing away from Bits. However, I do hope to one day go back to it. But why do I care so much about my credit score? To answer that, I'll tell you the truth. The last time I felt safe and secure in a family home was seven years ago in 2015. I've wanted that back ever since, and I want that for my family, for my son, for my partner. So I've been working at my credit score to make sure I can give the best life to my children. I have financially been looking after myself behind screens. Unfortunately though, to be honest, we are not in the best financial situation. We have a section 21 on our property, so we're gonna be losing our flat. And as you guys are aware, the prices of homes have gone up astronomical. I have my business where I'm making a little bit of money at the moment. However, the next two years are critical for my business because I believe there is a good chance that it might be worth something one day. So that leaves us here as a small family with a section 21, and I want to be safe. I want to be secure, and I've always wanted to own a home. For some reason, that feels good to me, mainly because I have a section 21, and my home no longer feels like mine. Just as we were adjusting into it over the last 18 months, it's being ripped away. Well, I'd like to build a house realistically one day, do I think that'll be any time soon? No. However, I think the next two years financially, I could better myself. Which takes me to my credit score. Because running the figures of the predicted figures which I could get, as well as my partner's income, I believe we could get a mortgage of just over £250,000 in a couple of years. It's not a lot. It's not. I'm only 23 this year. I'm not lucky enough to be born with a silver spoon in my mouth, so I do my best to look after myself. You know, one day I'd like myself American Express card so I get access to lounges at airports like my friend Matt. But at the moment, it's just about building up my credit file, my credit score, and eliminating these CCJs. But these county court judgments, when were they? Because they stay on your score for six years. The most recent one I got hit my score almost two years ago to the day. 
I was told by a mortgage advisor back in December that I have the chance to get a mortgage once the final CCJ hits two years old. That gives me a chance to buy property now. Really, like now. I don't have the deposit. I do, and I don't. I don't have the deposit in my personal funds. So where does that leave me now? That leaves me with the possibility if everything this year aligns, I will have one, two, three, four, so far, possible streams of income. One of those forms of income includes my other YouTube channel. At one point, I was making almost a thousand pounds a month on that channel, but I was young, dumb, homeless, and we're traveling, and I don't have that anymore. I'm making about 40 to 60 a month on it at the moment, and hopefully, over the next few months, I'm gonna be building that channel back up because 100 pounds a month additional for just a little bit of editing in the evening and some filming of my life throughout the day. Doing that and getting an extra 100 pounds a month will ultimately add up in the long run because I could invest that and I could use that towards a mortgage. It is an additional form of income. But the next two years are critical. By the time I'm 25, I cannot be in my financial situation. I can't. I hope to be in a lot better of a financial situation and furthermore to the credit card situation which this video is ultimately about. My Capital One card has a limit of £1,200. I'm going to use that to my advantage. I am now, not this second, but next week possibly, I'm going to be contacting Ocean Finance and say, hey look, my credit score has gone up. Look at this, my limit is now £1,200. Why not? up this card as well to £1,200. They might say yes, they might say no. But if I get a strong yes, then ultimately I can go to Argos and say, hey look, my credit score's gone up, how about we raise mine from £480 to £1,000? Then I've got three things up. And then my credit file will go up. And then I can boost my score on Experian. And then I can go, hey look, I'm gonna grab myself another card, maybe an Amex if I can. Oh look, I've got a thousand pound limit on it. Hey look, I've got a thousand pound limit on that card. Let's use that situation and get even further. Oh, I've got points. Let's go traveling. Let's make some videos of traveling and record it for YouTube. Hey look, I've got a YouTube income. It's about leveraging. That's the plan. I'm going to leverage the fact that they have offered my Capital One card an extra thousand pounds onto my Ocean Finance. And from there, to my Argos, and to there, to an additional card. And if I can get an Amex, an American Express specifically, hopefully that should boost it. And as long as I spend the correct amount of money, I'm not gonna be touching my debit cards if I can get this. I'll be spending everything on credit, and then my debit. I'll pay it off. I'll never touch my debit cards, because you should pay everything on credit anyway. <sighs> Which will then boost my credit score. And over time, as the CCJs get older, and I've got more of an income coming in, hey look, I can buy a house. That's the plan I've got in my head at the moment. That's a good plan, I think. <laughs> I was nervous just thinking about it. It's if it works, if it doesn't, because there's a chance I could go to Ocean Finance, they go, no. I could still have the chance to go to Argos. And if they say no, and I can't get an American Express card, no, it's fine because that credit limit is enough to boost my credit score. Hey look, I can borrow more money. That's a good thing. I'm not necessarily gonna be spending the money, but I can borrow it, which then shows banks in the future, when I do buy or build or whatever of a property, it shows I can be trusted with money. And that is exactly what the banks need to see. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Where do I think this will go from here? I think there is a chance that by the end of this year, even with a child and a Section 21. I think £10,000 in savings is viable. I do, as long as I work for it. £5,000 at a minimum, I think I could hit 10000 though. And what do I do from there? Well, it's about investing, leveraging, and moving forward with it. But until next time, which might be in two months because that's when I upload my videos, adios! And I shall see you guys all in the next video, which will be up in two months. And if you have any questions, any queries, 
any comments you'd like to make, let me know in the comments below because I'd really like to know. Thank you guys for 215 subscribers. This channel is really just a diary for myself so I can keep myself updated on my stuff and I can go through it in the future. So that's how I see this channel and you guys are just free to watch. Goodbye. The end. Like this video!